Hey, it's Jerome here. I'm gonna be showing you how to create graphic styles in Illustrator CC. So first up, we're gonna to go to Window, just go down and click Graphic Styles, and you'll get this box up here, and you'll see there's already some styles in there that come with Illustrator. What a graphic style is, is pretty much when you're working with designs or if you have an object and you've added strokes to it, gradients, um, even textures and patterns, even on type as well, um, you can save that graphic style and you can reuse it on other objects. And you can copy it to other objects, even into other um, Illustrator files, and you can reuse them. So it's really handy to create graphic styles. So you can see here, I've just created some styles of my own. They're a bit weird, but I was just playing around with them. You can see I've just got a simple gradient here with a stroke. This one has a pattern. This one was a pattern um, from Illustrator. This is some type, and I've added some shadows and um, some extra strokes. And here's just a little shield thing with some texture in it as well. So you can see if I click on this type, and if I go to my appearance panel on the right, you'll see I have all these effects in it. So I can save all these. So what the easiest way to create the style is, is um, you're going to have your object or your typography. And we're going to just click and you're going to drag it into the box. And you can see now, you can see my square popped up. So now if I just go to the side here and I drag out my square, I can click my style and it's going to load that style up. So it can be any object. It can be a circle as well. It can be anything. So what else you can do is you can pretty much rename these files. So if I go double click on the object, you can go style name. So I can call it brown circle, whatever. So you can do it for any of these other objects as well. So I can drag all, any of these in. And what's it going to do? It's going to save these styles. So then I can apply these styles to all the other objects, which is pr pretty quick and handy. Sometimes it might lag if some objects have a, a lot of styles on um, the one object. So be careful and make sure you don't add too many things because uh, it will get kind of messy. Uh, what else you can do? You've got some other options here as well. You can create a new graphic style from here um, instead of just dragging into the box, but it's easier to drag in the box. Um, you can select all unused ones and we can delete those with the little bin here, press yes, because we, we don't want to use the other ones and you'll just have the ones you're just using in your file. You can also, if you go down to the drop down menu, um, you can change, if you want to put the square preview and change it to text preview. So now it, it's coming up as a text, so you can see how it's going to look on if you had type. So if I just type, so I've got my type here, and you can see how it's going to look from these other type previews which is pretty handy. So you can change that if you want. You can also change the thumbnail size as well. You also got graphic style options as well, which allow you to change the style name as well if you want to do that. Another thing is that we can open and save graphic styles. Similar to the style palette, um, symbol palette, sorry. You can save and open different styles. So we got all these cool ones. You got neon, um, you got 3D effects, um, you got type effects. Um, we'll do, we'll go to 3D. And these just come with Illustrator. So you can load as many as you want. You can also customize and save your own own ones as well. So you can see, I'll just use this type here. And you can see it takes a bit to load because these have a lot of effects on it. But you see we get these cool 3D renders. And you can see we are loading up all these cool styles and <laughs> Illustrator does crash for, crash for a second there. Um, but yeah, so you can, it's a really powerful tool. And yeah, if you want to save these graphic styles, you just go to the the drop down menu and go to save graphic style library and then you can go um, locate a folder and just save it whatever name and that's it so that's how you create styles guys hope this was a helpful tutorial let me know in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials like this and don't forget to subscribe for more content every week